Hi everyone, my name is Ksenia and if you're here, you're probably interested in sustainability, zero waste, minimalism and mental health. So the title of my video is an anti-haul and I've been wanting to do a video like that for a while and now that it's um, July and plastic free July I wanted to try to end the influence you from buying things off Amazon. Not that um, buying things generally is bad or but mostly the whole uh, overconsumption that Amazon as a platform propels. Even though Amazon is trying to be sustainable using renewable energy, it is still an evil in disguise. There are different uh, platforms like this, uh, aggregator selling platforms in uh, other countries, for example, in the Netherlands, it's bold.com um, and there are specific ones for selling clothes, for example, Zalando, uh, known in Europe. All these brand companies do is technically just bring it together, the consumer and the um, producers of goods. So they are just an intermediary who help bring the comfort. However, this company still bring negative factors to the environment and our society, even though pro they provide uh, workers with a job, that they, uh, the people are usually underpaid, they do not have um, permanent contracts, so they may not have uh, social benefits or pay, pay time off, especially in the US. And the empl employees are driven from unionizing and protecting their rights. And these uh, logistics centers, uh, you know, all the logistics uh, is uh, bringing negative impact for the environment. Um, for example, a lot of vendors that are represented on Amazon or other I was just going to be using Amazon, okay? I'm just generalizing, okay? It's not only about Amazon, but Amazon is just one of the most prominent uh, sites for, for uh, e-commerce sites for this purpose. Um, Amazon uh, works with different brands and not all of them are verified. Some of them are based in China, uh, which uh, is known for using unethical labor from its workers and uh, also poor quality of products. So just imagine all the impact that uh, our consumerism makes for the people and the environment all together. And just the cost of shipping alone, which alone, which is not free, even though you don't pay for it, it's either aggregated in the price of the product or, you know, it still has to be, uh, the product still has to be delivered to your door so uh, there is still fuel being used and sometimes it's not just um, transporting on land but also transporting by sea or air which is even more wasteful. I'm a big fan of uh, South Park and they did tackle the Amazon uh, issue in a couple of serialized um, episodes and one of my favorite was when um, one of the workers there was calling, f uh, was using <laughs> Marxist ideology to talk about the way that the workers are now uh, removed from the product that they're actually making. There's those at the top who control the means of production and then there's the working class that enables those means by selling their labor power for wages. When there's conflict, the ruling class tries to blame the working class. I believe the working class needs to revolt against capitalism and bring about socioeconomic emancipation. I'm not going to get too deep into the uh, Marxist ideology. I can link some of the resources down below for you to watch. It's just that uh, the overconsumption um, has a negative impact not only on the environment but also on the mental health of both workers who work at Amazon um, distribution points but also our own mental health as consumers because I feel that if you place uh, happiness and life satisfaction into something material it uh, loses its 
um, attraction very fast and that's why I feel that uh, a lot of things that are just sold on Amazon or uh, overall everywhere are just maybe the way a way to for many people to fill in a hole that they feel uh, inside them but it's not possible to do with material things and that's why we keep going back and forth for more. And I've also been seeing much more TikToks uh, about Amazon finds and I think that mo a lot of them are incredibly uh, wasteful so in spirit of uh, Plastic Free July I want to watch some of this TikTok react and try to de-influence you as well just maybe put my perspective on it. Being a, an environmentalist and also a minimalist, I feel that maybe I can offer some solutions and some other uh, vendors and companies that you can that I can think about outside of Amazon. All right, let's get to it. Um, it uh, I just I have to say that I have to I have seen uh, similar videos from one of my favorite creators, and I'm going to link their videos down below. They actually sometimes do regular and anti haul videos for each season. Um, and I really like it. And also Shelby um, has done reaction to many wasteful TikToks. And I really like these videos as well. So let me know if you want me to do something similar. But uh, the point is that um, I've just been seeing some of TikToks where people would be like, where people would be advertising amazing Amazon finds that are so useful for home and car and pets and whatnot and cooking, whatever you can think of. And I think in at least half of the time you can say that you don't really need these things. And some of the creators actually say I bought this blah 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 off Amazon so you don't have to which I think is a bit better because uh, maybe they are just testing the products which I feel that is still quite uh, wasteful um, <laughs> way of uh, creating content but still maybe they could share their feedback in the videos and say you know some things don't work so at least people don't buy more useless stuff right but anyway, let's just see how it goes. I didn't plan this video to be too educational. I just wanted mostly to um, it to be for fun and just seeing if we can avoid uh, buying some stuff off Amazon. All right, maybe I should get headphones for this, shouldn't I? By the way, while I'm at it, check out my TikTok and subscribe if you'd like. Buying stuff so you don't have to. Okay. Backbite healer. Um, yeah, I do have. I do have uh, some. Uh, I do suffer from uh, um, insect bites a lot because I'm allergic. But I don't know if it's uh, actually working. I've uh, in investigated another one that kind of sucks the air. Um, and applies pressure but I don't think uh, they, uh, there is scientific um, explanation of the, the, how they work or that they work at all. So stirring glass. Maybe the only use I could see is for people with disabilities but um, I, I don't know. a spreader. Oh, this looks gnarly to be honest. The toast was too burnt for my liking and the butter was all Crumb, crumbly garlic chopper so the problem with this kind of devices like garlic choppers is that they are actually super hard to clean and even if you put them in a dishwasher uh, they have all these crevices that uh, is, they are going to stay dirty so I just think it would be easy to chop garlic to be honest you can have a regular ice cream scooper for 50 cents at the secondhand store and just put it in warm water for a little bit. Burger holder. Oh my gosh, this, this is just so useless. This is all gimmicky stuff. 
Okay, this one actually I've seen some people who, who used it. The good thing about silicone is that it's uh, it does not shed microplastic unlike other types of uh, unlike plastic. So um, silicone is actually more sustainable than plastic to cover things. And once again, you can have um, glass containers to store your things in. But I've seen people use, um, I mean, yeah, I actually, my partner has one and we use it as a safe, safely step floor. I personally don't really use paper, but I think if people use paper in the office, maybe it's one of the ways to actually save up on the, this, um, this thing is that connect paper. I don't know the word in English. All right, let's uh, look for more. Amazon kitchen favorites, all right. Um, I like cooking and I do have uh, quite a lot of things for uh, cooking, but um, from the look of it, it just looks quite gimmicky, to be honest. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh. Unless you have children, I don't really see a point of this, to be honest. What is this? Disturbing. Appliance sliders. Okay, fair. Maybe this ones could be useful. These are just sliders in order to scratch the hardwood uh, floor, hardwood uh, table. But this kind of reminded me of some of the accessibility stickers that you can get for people with uh, low vision or for blind people, which will just emphasize the uh, buttons on some appliances. Um, because now the design it tends to be so minimalistic that a person that who could not see does not know where the turn on button is. So I've seen some creators who are blind uh, showing how they use stickers to find buttons on and off on touch, which is pretty cool. Garlic twister again. Why do people not like grinding garlic? Okay, maybe, but you can just. I uh, use a bamboo brush for this, okay. I have hooks for towels, so I kind of understand this, okay. So it's a pasta spoon? It's a pasta spoon, I think. I, to be honest, it's a personal choice of everyone. I prefer the um, kitchen utensils to be um, either metal or wood because it makes them either easy to clean or easy to replace and then you can compost the bamboo utensils so um, I don't really like this kind of um, plastic teflon spoons and I also don't like the Monstera design even though I love Monstera and I have one in my living room Canfis keeper. Maybe I think there is a potential for removing food waste, but to be honest, I am a person who does not, uh, who would uh, drink a flat drink as well. <laughs> the, yes, that's a disturbing thing. Uh, the hot dogger that looks very disturbing. I don't know how you eat hot dogs, but I I put uh, I cut the bun sideways and put the hot dog there i think so weird to make hole in bread and then take out some bread is it like low carb movement bullshit okay fridge deodorizer wash your fridge clean your fridge and you can use baking soda uh, to deodorize almost everything also the shoe that was in the fridge, you can also deodorize shoes so that you don't have to store them in, in the fridge. Chopula. I mean, um, if you see potential uses for it, go ahead. I just feel like it's uh, 
you can use any spatula that you have. Can calendar, we can use a regular calendar as well. Nessie family. Uh, I don't think they look cute to be honest. I think they look tacky if you like them. I'm sorry. The tea strainer one. It looks like it's made of uh, soft material like rubber, but uh, the rest looks like they're made of plastic. So also not a big fan of this. All right, um, I've seen one with a car because uh, you know now I am um, now I have um, driving license, so I can drive and I use a car more often. So let's see, my top ten car must-haves. Mini trash cans. I don't have a trash can in the car, to be honest. When we, if we go um, by car on a long distance journey, I would just bag a plastic bag for it. But otherwise, I don't know. I usually just take trash with me and throw it away after I use the car. Trunk organizer. It's a bit gimmicky. It does look more organized. I you know some people have messy cars, but I think it kind of steals the place that you have. So not very practical, but there are, you can get maybe in a second hand store, you can get a second hand um, IKEA drawer organizer and use it for your car. Smart. <laughs> trash box. Okay, what's this with the trash? Leather care wipes. This looks like an expensive car. My <laughs> mine is not. I have uh, fabric fabric seats, so um, I guess I don't. Uh, I can only vacuum them. Um, I don't know. I don't want to recommend. Maybe it is useful. I don't know. But anything that's single use is uh, not very sustainable. Is it is purse hooks? That's ridiculous. Come on, you are in the car. Just put it on the seat. In between seats organizer. That's oh my gosh! T uh, uh, t I <laughs> I think these all look kind of cute, but absolutely useless. And you can just use uh, your car for storage. And also this um, dry, uh, you know, next to the driver there is a box for storing things. So why don't you just use that one? Collapsible cup. That's the only, I think that's the only useful, <laughs> useful thing in this video. Uh, maybe not a collapsible uh, cup uh, by itself, but a reusable cup. I prefer a reusable bottles because I think reusable cups leak and they do not keep the heat of the beverage. So I would suggest a thermos. I love using thermoses and when they go on, longer drives uh, we can get some coffee or tea in the thermos and uh, it stays well warm very for a very long time and thermoses almost never leak unlike the reusable cups in my opinion let's see I, i've seen several for the car but i think they're pretty much just decorative things amazon three in one trash Recycle and compost. Okay, that's uh, not too bad. I'm not saying that everything you get from uh, Amazon is bad. I'm just saying that in this case, I would just go to look and look up the um, a company that makes this trash cans and see what options they have and where they are based and try to look for alternatives local to you. Also you don't need to use trash, I mean, you need to use plastic bags for everything. If you can um, use paper bags for compost if you have a compost bin or you can freeze compost if you use community compost and so on. And for recycling, um, if it's plastic and glass, I also don't really need any plastic for that. Um, but that's the way the trash collection works in my country, that um, there are bigger containers that you bring your uh, recycling to. What was the goal uh, of this video? Every time you uh, you see something and you feel like, uh, you feel an urge to buy it, it's mostly because it has been presented in a certain way and it appeals to certain areas in your brain that uh, create dopamine and want you to have things. 
this is easy to avoid if you stop and um, ask yourself of, uh, if you actually need the items if you can substitute them with something if you can go, go without or if you can go on facebook marketplace or other ways or a thrift store to buy something similar for me even if i find something exciting from uh, ikea or whatnot or got a recommendation about amazon my first impulse is always whether i need it and how i can substitute it and if i think it's a good idea i would definitely not be buying it new my uh, impulse now is to try and thrift it or make it my, myself if you are looking for uh, plastic free essentials and zero waste essentials for plastic free july and want to make some of the sustainable changes in your life i would recommend to look for uh, shops and small businesses in your area before turning to amazon because, and even if you order from amazon try to investigate where the items are coming from what is the country and uh, i can also propose etsy etsy also has a lot of uh, clothing and handmade things but also sustainable products i recently bought my new uh, beeswax wraps from etsy and there you can see where the seller is in which state they are if they are in the us if they are local to you or if they are across the continents from you to uh, reduce the co2 impact and of course make someone who lives close to you happier as well uh, so this has been uh, the video kind of <laughs> lots of parts to it but mostly it's just the message for you to think before you buy and review your consuming habits this month please let me know if this has been useful and if you would like me to react to other videos uh, to other videos on tiktok as well and um that's it thank you so much for watching and as all youtubers and vloggers are supposed to say please like this video hit the bell notification button and subscribe bye